What's going on everybody? How you doing today? Uh, hope everything's well. Hope everybody's healthy and disease free and free from infection. I heard they're making a coming to America too, but that's near there, neither here nor there. <clears throat> In my, well, my hometown is Cleveland, Ohio, and then I moved to Frost Proof, Florida where Friday night there was a triple homicide. Um, three friends of many years went to Lake Streety Lake catfishing. One got there first. And he was beaten and shot, I believe. I'm going to read you the article in a minute. But I want you guys to understand why Solo Yacker carries an AR-15 pistol or whatever, a pistol, whatever it is, a firearm, a handgun, uh, some type of pistol with live ammunition. This is why he does it, people. He doesn't do it to show off. He doesn't. The whole reason you have the Second Amendment is to protect yourself from being killed for no reason, from some random, random person. I don't know if it's random, but I'm going to read you the article here. And one of the kids who was killed was one of my servers. I had a restaurant in Frostproof for 12 years or so. And one of my servers who worked for me, her kid was one of the kids that got murdered. Brandon Rollins, who was shot Brandon Rollins. and left bloodied in the roadway in Polk County over the weekend. His father recalling his final moments because he got the phone call from his son not long after he was shot. So, and now they're showing my server and her husband. Cyril Rollins says the moment he realized his son was calling, he knew it was bad news. He don't never call my phone at all, unless he... And there's my... I can't believe it's my server right there. I'm Fox 13 Tampa Bay. So let's... So this says $30,000 $30, reward. If my dad didn't live in Frostproof, I'd go down there myself and start digging stuff up. The, uh, one time I was there, a uh, couple, couple kids got killed because uh, what they do is they go drink a bunch of beer in the bar and they want to act tough and there's nothing to do out there. Someone threw a beer bottle at my truck. Anyway, these there was an incident where two kids got killed, and everybody in town, to this day, knows who did it. To this day. It's an open secret. Everybody knows what happened there. Everybody knows what's going on. And I wouldn't be surprised if at least 100 people, unless these are random strangers from a different town that just happened to be on Lake Streety, which is a very desolate area, so, $30,000 reward offered for information in the murder of three fishing buddies in Frostproof. Frostproof, Florida, the Polk County Sheriff's Office has partnered with several agencies to offer $30,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the person or persons who killed three fishing, three men fishing in Frostproof Friday evening. Sheriff Grady Judd announced the reward Monday. The victims, Damian Tillman, 23 years old, Kevin Springfield, 30, and Brandon Rollins, 27 years old, were beaten and shot on Lake Streety, which Judd described as a clay road to nowhere. So Frostproof is in between Lake Reedy and Lake Clinch. Uh, that's like downtown. And then once you go off from there, there's orange groves, and then the roads are just like clay. They're orange or reddish clay, and we go out there and shoot guns and uh, ride four-wheelers and just blow off steam. It was fun. So that's what he's talking about. There's a lot of those clay roads out there. It happened around 10 p.m. Friday. Judd said Tillman was the first to arrive and was the first one killed. Rollins and Springfield arrived together a short time later and were shot. Judd said Rollins was able to call his father and said help. His father went straight to Lake Streety and found his son barely alive and his two friends dead. PC Polk County Sheriff's Office said Rollins 
was able to say a few things to his father, but details about their conversation are not being, you know, not being released. Cyril Rollins says the moment he realized his son was calling, he knew it was bad news. He doesn't ever call my phone at all, Rollins said, unless he's having trouble. When Cyril answered, his fears were realized. He said, help, daddy, help, daddy, he, he recalled. He rushed to the scene and found his son shot and bloodied in the roadway. Rollins left his home so fast he forgot his cell phone. When I got there, I didn't have a phone at all, he said. I didn't know what to do. He was talking and and all of that. I said, son, I've got to leave you. i got to go get some help. Cyril hopped back into his car, driving to a convenience store to call 911. Convenience store is called Little Dixie, by the way. It's irrelevant, but just so you know. Cyril hopped back into his car, driving to a convenience store to call 911. The store owner's daughter went with Cyril back to the scene. I thought they were coming back to finish Brandon off, he said. But he was talking, but was pretty, but he was pretty bad. He was too bloody. Cyril says that when he heard his son's cell phone ringing from his truck, it was his mother, Dottie, calling. Cyril reached to grab it. It was in the seat. I couldn't see it. It was covered in blood, he said. And I got the phone, and it was his mama. And I said, please, Dottie, please get here. Our son is dying. That's the girl, lady, wonderful lady, by the way, who worked for me. One of the best I've ever had. And I worked with her before I bought the restaurant at a different restaurant. So we know each other. I used to pick on her all the time because she's so cute and tiny and such a good woman. And she could take the heat. And she would just, okay, John, just blow me off. Okay, John. When first responders arrived, all three men were dead, according to the families. The three men have been best friends for years. Days later, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says there are still no arrests. We've got more than 100 tips, and some of them look promising. But we need information at this time, Sheriff Judd said. This is a sad case. you got three best friends. What is more wholesome than going fishing on a Friday night? This incident comes as a shock because it is a tight-knit area, and that's not a lie. Um... Brandon's mother, Dottie, says an arrest could bring justice to the family. That was my only son, Dottie said. I'll never have another grandchild. Nothing in my life is gone. Anyone with information is asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 1-800-226-8477. Calling Crime Stoppers first will allow tipsters to remain anonymous and eligible for the $30,000 cash reward. So if you live in Polk County, Florida or Highlands County, Florida, and you know who did this? Someone's running their mouth because most m morons who do things like this want to tell somebody for some reason. Please call 1-800-226-8477 and let them know. There's a story. So in Florida, uh, there's a law, 790.25, you're allowed to open carry a pistol, at least a pistol, uh, probably a rifle also, yeah, because they were doing it at the John's Pass. 790.25, you can open carry a pistol or a rifle while going to and from hunting, fishing, or camping. And that's what Solo Yakker's channel is about, armed fishermen. That's why he does it. He doesn't do it to, to be a right winger or whatever the hell you morons think. This is exactly what the Second Amendment is for. These kids had the right to be armed, and I wish they were armed. Because instead of three dead young men who wanted to go fishing, there would be one or several dead perpetrators. So, Dottie, I'm sorry. Solo Yacker, armed fisherman, subscribe to him. You're allowed to be armed while hunting, fishing, or camping in Florida. The police don't know it. You might want to call them ahead of time if you feel worried about it. Um, Solo Yacker, armed fisherman, same guy, two channels. 
is thinking about doing uh open carry memorial for this guy for these guys and um possibly a 21 gun salute i don't know we'll see what happens anyway that hits close to home man i'm not gonna lie and what a shame and what a shame that you feel like you have to kill but how again if i were to theorize it probably somebody on meth because meth was big down there or somebody did something with somebody's girlfriend you know there's a lot of hot-headed uh less than educated people running around frost proof because i lived there for 10 years and there was a gang of guys who just would drink and get stupid and hang out in parking lots and throw beer bottles at you stay away stay away from them and stay away from places that they frequent don't be stupid learn something on the computer watch a youtube video and if you're gonna go out fishing night fishing which to me sounds scary to begin with because i'm a little biatch have a firearm with you and a bright flashlight all right everyone thanks for watching peace tranquility bye